Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Litfimo's Designs. And today, we bring you a tutorial on an After Effects very cool intro using only included plugins on After Effects. This will be really cool. Let's take a look at the preview. Okay, so that was the preview, guys. Now let's take a look at the tutorial. Okay, so brand new project, let's create a new composition. Let's call it the main comp. Let's make it 9020 by 1080, 29.97 frames per second, and 10 seconds in length, and hit OK. Okay, let's create a new text. We'll be typing our main text. Okay, uh, the font I'm using is uh, Alternate Gothic 2. I don't know if it's included or not. Let's make it 230. Alright. Now let's choose it, go to transform, center anchor point in layer content and let's align it with the align uh, align tool over here. Let's move it slightly up, let's hold on shift, just like that, let's hold on shift, move it slightly up, just like that, okay. Now this was our first text, let's pre-compose it and name text zero on, move all attributes into the new composition and that's it, okay. Now let's create a new solid, let's name it fractal noise doesn't matter the color let's go and search for fractal noise sorry fractal noise okay now let's change the uh, fractal type to rocky and noise type to block contrast to 250 and that's pretty much the um, the setup for the fractal noise now let's kind of um, let's pre-compose it and name it this place. Move all attributes and hit OK. Okay, let's unshow it. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Name it displacement map. Or just the map. And then go to effects and presets and search for displacement. And there's it. Distort displacement map and drop it into the adjustment layer. Okay, displacement map layer will be the displace which is this comp and as you can see it's already being affecting the text now let's drop down to zero the max horizontal displacement and up the max vertical displacement to 175 so, okay you can see that um, here the this is our pretty much this um, main animation engine okay now let's keyframe it and up to 175 and then move like less than three seconds and drop it down to zero and this will be our main animation all right so um now what you want to do is uh, duplicating uh, or kind of pre-composing all this uh, these layers and um, name it the main animation move all attributes into the new composition and here okay okay now what you want to do is duplicating or just hit enter and name it white and then duplicate it hit enter name it uh, red and duplicate again and hit enter and name it blue now go to project and go to main animation comp over here and duplicate it cmd or control d duplicate it and then kind of choose the red one drag the main animation to hold alt and drop it on the red and then take main animation 2 and main animation 2 and duplicate it and then take it choose the blue one take it again drag and drop on the blue one and then take the red and the blue one and beneath the white now go again to the project and duplicate the displace comp two times go to the blue one or the red one and then drag the displace number two drag or let's just uh, first choose this one drag and drop it on the displace now this will become space two and then go again to the blue one choose the displace and drag and drop the displace number three now we'll be uh, coloring the red and blue comp now let's take in the tint effect drop it into the red one and then choose the red color over here okay and again red and then go to the blue one drop the tint and then color it with a kind of course this color over here i don't know how to name it but okay and that's it. now what you want to do to make it appear as you can see here it won't appear until we um, 
play a little bit with the um, displays. Now go to Pattern Mode, change the complexity to 4, and then the evolution. Okay, you can play uh, with the evolution as much as you want. Now let's go back to the main comp and go to the blue. Okay, and then go to displays and change the fraction noise complexity to down to 2 and add the evolution just like that now let's go back to the main comp and take a look as you can see here we got the main animation but i'd like to make these blue colors look darker so let's go to the down color and put it down a little bit kind of like this and then go to the um, kind of go to the red one and make it darker also just like this and these colors look great for me yeah they look great okay so now we'll be basically playing with the entrance of the intro because we won't let it just um, come uh, just enter just like that we need to make it fade in so let's just pick up the um, screen and then what you want to do is choosing the white one with the marquee tool over here marquee tool and uh, sorry marquee tool and then let's just um, kind of solo it and then go to the center hit alt cmd or um, alt and drag and draw a rectangle with this shape kind of like this and then go to the beginning and then open the mask properties keyframe the mask path and go to like two two uh, seconds and then zoom in and double click on the mask and then drag from the drag from this point over here and drag up zoom out and then drag up until it covers all the animation until here and then go to the downside take the selection tool and drag until here and now as you can see we got some animation of we got the animation being kind of fading in and to make it look more realistic let's take the uh, mask feather and up it into 200 and this will make it look like fading in but one another thing I would like to do is um, kind of making this one a little bit smaller on this side just like that and I think this will suit really well now let's take the mask go to edit copy or CMD or control the C then go to the red one and paste it and over here also and paste it now since I've been on the timeline I've been like two seconds away as you can see, if we open the keyframes for the mask, it will be over like uh, over here. But we need to be in the beginning, so we're going to drag the keyframes over until the beginning, so that everything begins in one um, simultaneous way. Go ahead and add a background. So let's go ahead and create a new solid, and let's make the color for a real dark gray, just like this one, and let's name it back wrong. Okay, put it on the back. And there you go, you got a nice background. Okay, now for the second test, text appearing over here like the preview, let's go ahead and create a new text. Let's type in our second test, text. Let's change the font to Bebas, or I don't know how to pronounce it, Bebas New and TT, yeah, just like that. Let's um, resize it to 125. Okay, let's put it beneath the main text, just like that. Um, the AB2 maybe 450 over here. And that will look really awesome. Okay. Now, what you want to do to animate this um, this text over here? Let's go to open the properties and then go to animate over here. Animate the opacity and then go to animator number one. Range selector, open it. Advanced, open it. And then go to the down and to the randomize randomizer randomize order and turn it on and then drop the opacity to zero go to the shape and change it to ramp up and then now as you can see if you play with the offset 
can see the characters coming in one uh, after the other. Now, when will we animate this? We will animate it before kind of um, seconds, out of seconds before the animation is done. So let's go and animate it. Offset, let's keyframe it, then drag down to minus 100 and then go to like 4 seconds and drag it up to 100 just like that and there you go you got the second text animation which is really cool uh, just information you can play with the random seed you can change which uh, which letter comes first and which letter comes last just like this and there you go. 